Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Urban Rush once again. In case you haven't caught the gist, occasionally Fiona and I uh, trend towards a little bit of nerdiness. We do. We're proud to do that. Uh, Broken Saints is something we came across a couple of years ago, and we're going to chat it's with amazing. Brooke Burgess about Broken Saints and how you can now get it on DVD. Brooke, how are Hi, Brooke, you? How are you? I'm very good. It's good to see you guys as well. You look nice. great. Oh, thank, thank you, man. I you, appreciate you have, that. You have aged incredibly well. Yeah. <laughs> no, very the thing amazing. is, Brooke, now we sleep. <laughs> yeah, now we get right. some sleep. Now, I'll let you explain what Broken Saints actually is before we get to the DVD oh, scenario, the because it's so hard to describe. It, it really is. It really is. We started off in 2001, uh, a small team of uh, two artists and myself, Andrew West and Ian Kirby, and we were creating an online animated comic for adults, an online animated graphic novel, 12 hours, 24 chapters, 57 parts that we gave away for free over three years. Why and did you, guys, you do it yeah. for free, first and foremost? Because you could have made a lot of money in so many different marketing ways with this website, but you never did that live. Well, you know, I came, I came from a video game background. I was working at EA for three years. I was in the cubicle barnyard, and I was making tons of dough. Uh, but I wasn't satisfied in the stories that were being told. I had, like, a really burning passion to, to say something important that would affect people. And I just figured, it's how can you reconcile saying something important? But by the way, click on this banner for porn. It just didn't work for me. <laughs> so we didn't want to, like, charge for it. I just really wanted well, to give it away. I wanted to make, to make a personal sacrifice to tell the story. And to well, see and it it's through. been a, a sacrifice that not many people have made the choice uh, to pursue online. Uh, and that's what makes it so interesting to me. Did right. you have this in mind all the way along, like you knew that eventually you were going to find a way to create a revenue stream that you could actually. Do you know what? a revenue stream? Honestly, was never planned, which is probably a degree of idiocy. It was. It right. was, really, <laughs> it was Sometimes <laughs> naive. It, you know, it's a beautiful thing to be naive. I just, I just wanted to do it. I just wanted to make something. You know, here was me being an artiste, and I never wanted that label. You know, Insta Flick, is that mouth? Yeah. And no, I yeah. didn't want to do that. But um, as it went along and then we won at Sundance and a few of the other major awards, it became apparent that a revenue stream was possible. And I'd always, has, always, I'd always had a DVD in the back of my mind. And it wasn't until Telephone Canada, the, the funding uh, board for films and for new media in the country, approached us at the nice. end of the series and said, this is great. Do you need money? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, there you go. You're a couple of years late there. Let's get to the 12 hours uh, thing. Now, 12 hours for what we're looking at right here, we're seeing a bit of it so people can get an idea of what they're seeing. How many human hours go into making 12 hours of a graphic oh, wow. novel such as this? It was it was three years, seven days a week, eight to ten hours a day, if not more so. And then for the DVD, with our budget and time frame, we went from a team of three with our composer as well in, in Germany to a team of about 40 engineers and artists plus 40 voiceover people wow. working nine months straight. 10 to 12 hours a day or more wow. to finish it. But the thing I think that set this apart isn't just that visually, of course, it's stunning, but there's a depth to the storyline uh, and the mythology that you create and the mythology you borrow that really gives it a resonance and I don't think many things well, uh, have like that online. Where does the story actually come from? Oh geez, I don't get to tell this part often so thank you for asking. <laughs> You've got 12 hours yeah. starting there. <laughs> tick, tick, tick. Go. Um, it, it actually started before I left EA. Uh, there were two news stories that came out that really intrigued me. I was having this whole, you know, struggle of faith. Who am I? What am I doing with my life? How do I reconcile my spiritual what side? What am I doing in this cubicle? My, yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm in the cubicle barnyard moo. And, <laughs> and I, I want to reconcile technology and spirituality. And uh, Douglas Copeland, he's like, you know, local writer who right. had already done that with, with uh, Gen X and Microsurfs and these other stories, but I wanted to do something that, that suited me. And the two news stories, one, Microsoft was launching a low-flying satellite network in 2007, they had planned to, that would cover the globe, you could be in the Sahara, the Antarctic, it wouldn't matter, you'd have high-speed broadband for free. That was their announced plan. I'm like, okay, satellites watching everywhere, interesting. <laughs> but then the other story was a professor at Laurentian University in Ontario who had sat people down over like 12 years of all different cultural backgrounds, sexes, faith didn't matter put them in this big chair and used low frequency EM fields on parts of their brain temporal lobe hypothalamus uh, what that uh, amygdala you? it gave all of them be they Christian Jew Muslim atheist did not matter gave all of them a God experience you're, you're kidding me. nope kidding proven me. it was covered in 60 minutes a couple of years back but and so I imagined combining the two and going what would happen to the world if, if the whole well, network could make now. everyone on earth have a God experience. Well, Bill Gates is laughing his head off. I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but there's this, I guess that's part of the attraction to it is 
is that I, I guess throughout human history, people always struggle to understand their circumstances, Absolutely. right? You know, and it seems like more so now as we meld technology with the human experience. Mm -hmm. How is this all going to affect us and play out? And I know. Are we are we being about. separated, compartmentalized? You're seeing all the strife around the world, the struggle of cultures and stuff, and that was something that really infused itself into Broken Saints, the political, the social, and the spiritual aspects. I basically just wanted to tell a fictional story based in of science all the big wise. about all the big whys, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and what was happening in the world as far as my point of view, and and apparently from the thousands of fans, their point People of view. People can relate to it. Well, let's look at a clip of it right now. Why don't you set this up? Okay, um, this is one of our four characters, actually a Muslim mercenary who was involved in the Gulf War and was struggling with the fact that he had his faith, which was very peaceful, but uh, the politics, of course, were not as peaceful, and so he's going through an extreme personal and psychological and spiritual crisis right now. His yeah. name's Oran, and the voice is done by Michael Dobson. Wow, Love was it great guy. to work with him, an incredibly talented voiceover actor. We were blessed. All so. right, let's have a look at this. this is from Broken Saints. Area. This picture is real. These are my sins. I am to be punished. My chest heaves, and I am taken in fear's grip. Sinew and tendon twitch and constrict. My brain flows like a dumpling swollen in a soup of adrenaline. And my faith abandons me. I knew of righteousness. What was fought in its name? Belief suit the horrors of my deeds. Until now. The fire has sent schools to consume me. They defy all reason. And he is dead to my pleas. I beg of you. Tell me why. Please. Why? That's right. going to be my tattoo in a couple of years, by the way. <laughs> Just right across the back. Bam! Okay, we've talked about all the years, the labor of love, mm -hmm. and now it's finally available on DVD. How happy yes. does this make you? Um, well, it's definitely a release. It's like I gave birth to a very <laughs> wide baby. Uh, it was painful for sure. Not an easy birth. <laughs> that was a little and too painful. I'm sorry, Brooke. Stop it with the graphic images. Well, there's that whole symbol in the Can series of the that eye that opens yeah. up, and everyone's yeah. like, that's very bold of you. And so, you know, so, yeah, okay. So it's a whole birth metaphor. It's and a yes, good thing. It feels good to have it, <laughs> it, feels good to, to have it finished. Um, it also feels good that there, it, it's not necessarily done because, yes, it's being spread between different people, it's airing on TV, it's doing all these things around the world, but there are also other mediums that it can... Like maybe a video into. game. Yeah, we've been talking maybe. about that for a while, and that's uh, that's something that's in harsh negotiations right now, I so bet. I'm hoping to have something official to announce by the fall. Yeah. Very cool. We look well, forward we can't to wait. it. It has a lot of possibilities, so I think, in terms of uh, where you go with it. Now, Broken Saints, uh, you can pick it up. You can go to the website. Uh, first of all, it will be available in future shops, so you can go there. It will be available nationally. It will be nationally uh, after July 10th, after and it's July also 10th. a video on demand as well, oh, through, nice, Shaw, yes. through Shaw. So you can go to our website, brokensaints.com. Oh, hey, over there. You can go to our website, brokensaints.com, and uh, click on the On Demand link. It will take you to the Shaw and CBC On Demand service. Go through that there hub, you and uh, you'll find the series that way on your TV. So, we just Brooke, take did off? you want your own show? Yeah, I, know, I was going you know, to say that next You're time when you have the whole fill-in thing happening, he's taking you can, a vacation. You can give it a I used shot. to do this gig. I would love well, not this gig. Well, you just did it so well. I would love uh, to. After would what you just did, as if I'm ever taking a day off sick ever again. I don't need a phone book. You I don't care how two. broken I am. I'm, I'm never taking a day off. I'm sorry. I think he's the right size, Michael. <laughs> I'm the right size. We'll how be nice right back that? with after more after this. <laughs> don't cry, little boy. Oh, man. Say nice things. And I, don't even I love the